quick edit here on this photo. Um, so I'm going to start with adding the preset small four and the earthbound tone. Uh, pull this so we can see it. Okay, so this is definitely a little bit too warm, so I'm going to pull that down and take a little bit of that magenta out. Uh, then I'm going to come down here and start at the bottom. But first, I always like to straighten the horizon. Computer's being slow. There we go. All right, so there's that. All right, so I'm going to start at the bottom here. So I'm going to take out the grain, a little bit of vignette on this one, add the profile correction, add a little bit of the noise reduction. I'm going to lower this earthbound shadow just a tad. Um, and here I'm going to take down the blues and the orange. Um, and then I'll start up at the top. So first we need to lighten it up. So I'm going to lighten that up first. Add a little bit of contrast. I like my contrast around the 30s. I'm going to bring the highlights and whites down a tad. I don't want the sky to be blown out. Um, I prefer to take my shadows up and my blacks up as well. I add texture to my photos, so I like that at 100. The clarity and the dehaze just a tad. Vibrance, low vibrance, so I take that to usually the 30s. Okay, um, so at where we're at right now, I'm trying to show you what we've done before and after. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here and take all about a little bit more of that orange out. Okay, so now we're going to start with our filters. I'm going to start with the gradient filters, and I'm going to add two of these, one in each corner. So I'm going to darken, add to the blue side here and a little bit of the saturation. Do the same thing on this side, like this. And that will be, that helps the sky go from doom and gloom sky to bright and pretty sky. Um, then I'm gonna clear up this sand a little bit to make it a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna add three down here. So one in the middle, I'm gonna lighten, take a little texture out, add some exposure shadows up those and then I'm going to take it and do one over here and then do one on this side now for this side I don't want to wash out the ocean so I'm going to bring the texture back down and just take this down just a tad so for the remaining remainder remaining edits I'm going to add two radial filters. Um, the first one, I'm going to add texture to the clients. So I'm going to put it right over the clients. I'm going to add texture to them. And you can tell the difference when you add it. It just makes them a little bit more crisp. Um, and then I'm going to also take the shadows up on them so we can see them better. Then I'm going to add another radial filter. And this one, I'm going to invert it. So now it's going to do the outside of the circle. Um, and I'm going to darken just a tad like that. Okay, good. So the rest would be the tone curve. So at this point, I like to usually bring the lights and darks up just a tad. Um, and then for final edits, I am going to select the brush tool, shadows, and I'm going to take a little bit of the shadows off of their faces. Um, I'm going to use the brush tool, 
and I'm going to choose um, texture, no texture. I'm just going to kind of go over the sand a little bit just to get, make it a little bit softer. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to use the clone and heal tool to get rid of a couple people in the background. Just clean up this, the background a little bit. Okay, so let's see where we're at right now. Okay, so this is where we're at. Okay, so at this point, it went from cloudy, dreary day to bright and sunny day. So that's a super quick edit. Um, I would probably go around and you know do a little minor details, um, but that kind of gives you an idea of how to bring something from a cloudy day to bright and sunny day. All right, hope you enjoyed it.